Oh, everybody knows what time it is. It's the most wonderful time of the month. You know, because it's like every every month there's a there's a cube coming up. Oh, we got a Nexus of Becoming. Interesting little guy for six mana. We got a Gut. Strip Mind would be seen as the best card in here by several players. I don't know if I'm among them. Just because it's not fun. It's good. It's not fun. Ponder is great. I kind of want to take Gut here. Gut is pretty good. Just finishing off this little, this little Diet Coca-Cola that we had here. Oh, the Diet Coca-Cola. Thank you. Oh, Garador, thank you for the resub, my dude. Welcome back, buddy. I'm going to take uh, Fallen Shinobi, maybe? No, it's going to be gut. We'll take the gut. We'll see how that goes. And then we'll get past a Mox Emerald. And a Hull Breacher. But a Mox Emerald. Yeah, let's just take the Mox Emerald. Yeah. That's wild, man. What kind of difference does light make? Let's see. Oh, wow, that's a big difference. That's that's a big difference. Big, big difference. Okay. Yeah, Mox Emerald it is. Hard to argue, you know. Michael B. with the pro tips. I do love a good Amazon dollar. A Bezos buck, if you will. Oh, we got a little Savannah. A Verdant Catacomb. Magda. Okay. Oh, there's a Fury too? Yeah, it's probably got to be Fury. Okay, we'll just take the Fury. I really hope this Magda comes back. I don't know, though. This pack is not... It's not stacked. Fury's pretty good, though. I have no issue taking a Fury. Thank you. Wild card. Thank you for the resub, my dude. Appreciate you. Um. Hmm. A call per call is interesting because there is the artifacts matter theme, and gut kind of goes well with that. It's also a smuggler's copter. Hmm. Yeah, let's try the Akal Pakal. I have never drafted Akal Pakal. Ooh, Relic of Sauron and Lotus Petal, huh? Also Thundering Falls, which is nice. I kind of like Relic of Sauron here. I have yet to play with Relic of Sauron, and I think it's very good. I think I, I think Goldspan Dragon's actually real sweet here. It makes treasures, which go with both of these guys. Is this non-token? No. Jeez. Yeah, I'm just going to take Goldie. Goldilocks here. Eh, this pack's kind of meh. Burgy might be fine. Uh, no, I do not have a watch on right now. <laughs> uh, Firebolt is maybe better. Yeah, I'll take a Firebolt. I don't think we're a Burgy deck. Oh, Generous Plunder. That seems great. Yeah, it's a two drop that makes artifacts. Sure. Okay, interesting thing is that came back. Oh man, no way. <laughs> That's, when I'm trying to type or something, and if I have a watch on, like especially with a metal bracelet, like it's just very uncomfortable. Uh, 
think we'll just take Fallen Shinobi. We have Relic of Sauron, and we have a bunch of evasive creatures so far. Goldspan, the tokens from this guy, Menace. I mean, we, I could see us making treasures and Relic of Sauroning a Fallen Shinobi out if we really want to. Do like a Chandra here. I don't think it's Batter Skull. Yeah, let's just take the Chandra. Oh, I get the Soul Cauldron and Phyrexian Revoker. I think I like Soul Cauldron better than Revoker. Yeah, Soul Cauldron just nugs certain strategies. I'll take a Shadow Spear. There's no reason to take the Dual Land here, I don't think. None of these are exciting. Yeah, same. I'll take Outland Liberator. Okay. So, junk, junk, junk. Everything else here is pretty playable. We only have one blue card, but blue is kind of the direction you want to go in. Okay, Talisman of Dominance. Rampaging Raptor. I do kind of like wooded foothills here, just in case we start getting some some fetchable lands. It's better than Phantasmal Image. Maybe, probably. I mean, copying a, a Fury or a Goldspan Dragon is not terrible. Yeah, I'll just take the Wooded Foothills here. I think this pack is kind of unexciting. I mean, there's a lot of things that can come back. Pentad Prism comes back, Talisman comes back. Any of those are pretty good. We keep seeing black-red lands. Could take a Sheldock, but I don't feel like we have a great top end for Sheldock yet. I think it's still probably fine. I don't think I want another four drop. Star is okay. I think I'd rather take Sheldock than Star here. Another another black black red land. Um, Mindstone might be good. I like Atali. I just like Atali. I'm not sure if it's great for this deck. Three steps ahead is pretty sweet. This is interesting, man. <clears throat> Some of these are kind of tricky. I don't mind Mindstone, but I do feel like something similar is coming back. I'm gonna take the three steps ahead. I think it's versatile enough that we kind of want it. Um, I do just like taking a Spire Bluff here. Ooh, Oko the Ringleader. We do have Wooded Foothills and Mox Emerald. That's interesting. Also, third path iconoclast. That's probably the correct pl play here. <sighs> yeah, we got to go with third path here. This is a third path deck for sure. Blood Crypt. No, you're not really what we're looking for. Rabble Master might be. Maybe we're aggressive enough for Rabble Master. Also, we can turn the tokens into gut tokens. Yeah, let's try Rabble Master here. This deck is kind of interesting. I don't know what's going on yet, but it feels like we're working towards something. This guy makes treasures. No, he makes clues. And we do not take a green land, so we're still... Could be open to just taking a Grixis card here. Could also just take Metamorph. I think it's probably just Metamorph. We passed on Phantasmal Image. Slickshot Showoff, huh? I don't think we're a Slickshot deck. I don't think we're a Narset deck either. 
We could be. Let's take Narset in case we end up getting Wheel of Fortune or any draw seven, I guess. Haywire might. It's not terrible. I also really don't mind Rampaging Raptor. It's just a red questing beast. I would like Steel Seraph more if we could cast it for three. I mean, Haywire Might is fairly castable here. Activatable, I should say. Yeah, let's take the cheap artifact. Hmm... This pack's unexciting. I think we're just taking Raucous Theater. And Badlands. Okay, so we're definitely leaning into black quite heavily here with these lands. And this Fallen Shinobi. And this Relic of Sauron, so... Oh, Robber and Scrapwork Mutt came back. I do like a Scrapwork Mutt here. We can sack it to gut. Bone Crusher Giant's great. Wow, that's a really nice late pickup. Um, I think it's probably just snap here. I don't think we care about a Rafine's Tower. Oh wow, Flame Tongue Kavu? That's playable, man. Gut is definitely no joke, for sure. Okay, well, fourth ear lingus is tempting. <laughs> We have a Mox Emerald for green and Wooded Foothills. We have Badlands and Raucous Theater for black. We have nothing for white. Is it just True Name Nemesis instead? Uh, also, the Talisman and the Pentad Prism, neither came back. <sighs> this pack's interesting. There's a lot of powerful cards in here, but... Like, Fractured is great. Fourth Eurolingus is great. We just have no way to splash for green. Or for white, rather. I agree. Fourth is such a good card. But there's no way to cast it. So, I'm not going to put a Plains in the deck. Um, I think it's either True Name or... I think it's just True Name. Yeah, it's got to be True Name. True Name is just still good. And a Mind Twist. And a Cruel Ultimatum. I love a Cruel. And another Oko. Whew. I mean, both... Wow. Both Oko and Mind Twist are very castable for us. Oko also makes food, which is great with Gut. Man, I think it's got to be Oko here. Yeah, I think we're just taking Oko. Ooh, Treachery is back. That's super nice to see. Coveted Jewel is nice. We could actually get it, draw three cards, cast Gut, and then sacrifice it to the Gut. <laughs> it's, it's pretty Thank fun. You. 
hidden shababi. <laughs> oh, good gravy. Oh, Magic Marker Studio, appreciate your support, my dude. I'm gonna take the treachery. I think treachery is just good. <clears throat> Either spell bomb, interesting. Also, him to Torok. Unholy Heat, we have Firebolt, Bone Crusher, we have Flame Tongue, Chandra. We have a lot of spot removal. And we can search for a Badlands with a Wooded Foothills. Would love like a Tropical Island or something to search for. I don't really care about either Spellbomb. Top is interesting. Fairy Mastermind also not terrible. I think we just take top here. There's also a plateau if we got that fourth year Lingus. Yep. Okay, so Urk. Urk already beat us to it. Yeah, I'll just take top. A bayou. It's a searchable land, but it's as searchable as a forest in our deck, basically. Rogren Triome. We could also get that to search for, and we can cast our fourth year Lingus off of. Man, did I make a mistake? Should I have just Lingist? Is it just leaving Skydiver here? No, 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 no. Maybe. No, yeah, I think so. I think it's probably the best card in this pack. Epicure does make a blood token and it's good with gut. But this, this steals artifacts. Leaving Skydiver is just very good. I like a Xander's Lounge. If we're casting Fallen Shinobi. I mean, this is, what, six mana sources. So this is 24 cards. We need to cut something already. Magda makes tokens. The other Magda didn't come back either, which is kind of sad. So we actually have no way to search for green cards or for blue cards yet. And by cards, I mean lands. So I think I'm actually just going to take the Xander's Lounge here. We have a ton of playables. We just need lands to, to search for. <sighs> I do like a remand. Yeah, let's just take the remand. Oh, Oliphant actually might have been pretty decent there. Here's a searchable green source for Oko. Because we don't have one yet, right? Yeah, that's actually fine. Yeah, I don't think we're getting another... Burst Lightning might be better than Firebolt. Eh, I don't know. Dark Ritual is not terrible. Recurring Nightmare is interesting here. Let's just take Recurring Nightmare. We have a bunch of tokens. Oh, wow. Fiery Confluence came back. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, I'll take the cookie. That guy makes <clears throat> artifacts. Um, nothing here we care about. Oh, Epicure came back? Sure. Mana base is kind of rough. We have one blue source to search up and it comes into play tapped. We have one green source to search up and it comes into play tapped, so. Okay, this is a lot of cards. I think we need four cuts. Oh, bone, wow, okay. I do like a Bonehorde Dracosaur. Uh, we're not an R set deck. Is it worth recurring nightmaring? Recurring nightmaring. <laughs> what a sentence. So this is 26, we need three cuts. Yeah, Storm is, yes. We can probably cut Flame Tongue. I 
I mean, I would say we can cut the black cards, but they're pretty good. And there's our mana, our fixing is pretty decent. We have free Badlands, Theater, and Xander's Lounge we're going to play either way. Plus we have Relic of Sauron. Crusher is more of a two drop. An artifact under the battlefield under your control this turn. Look at the top two cards. I put one in your hand. No, that seems really good. You're good. You're good. Maybe Soul Cauldron can come out and we'll board it in. This is 24. One more cut, maybe a Shadow Spear. I can see cutting a Shadow Spear. Or actually maybe top is worse. Do we have a, we have like one shuffle effect. <clears throat> and I do feel like this will be less obnoxious in games. Yeah, I'd play Shadow Spear over top. That feels like a me thing to do. Okay, sort by mana value. Nope, sort by color. I don't think we're going to play a forest. We have commercial, mox. Actually, maybe one would be fine. I don't think it really hurts the base. No black. We have two black cards. Uh, so three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So nine, eight, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We get one more. Might just be one more blue. All right. Yeah, because this leaves this leaves an untapped green source and an untapped black source off of Wooded Foothills, which is pretty good. All right, Let's see how we do. I did not do a cube evaluation for Thunder Junction, which I should have. Oh, this is. This is just fine. Oh, we don't have a blue-green land. A tropical island would have been great here. Hmm, interesting. I guess we can lead on theater. And then we do have either forest or... Just, um... Do we have an untapped blue source that we can get? I don't think so. I think we just have Xander's Lounge. Source? Shadow Spear. You can go. See, that's great. We didn't want to draw that. Wonderful. And Ketria Trion would have been a catch. Blue Source? Firebolt. So a Blue Source really turns on our whole hand, but we actually have one in a Relic of Sauron. Which is kind of funny. Like, I mean... Green is much harder to get here. We could also just get Commercial District and hope to, to filter a blue source to the top. I think we got to do that. That feels correct. Oh, I agree completely. Yeah, there's like there's like 12 different big score cards that I've I've been tempted to add. Okay, got a little chromatic star. Let's yield to the end step. Crack this guy. Let's get a commercial district. Here we go. 
Metamorph Graveyard. Mox Emerald. Okay. That does get us a relic here. One, two, three, four. I'm okay with that. So next turn, we can do a bunch of things. We can go a call, a call, Oko, uh, make a food, draw a card. I'm okay with that. Yeah, get that guy out of there. Okay. I guess we start with a call, a call. Let's go blue, blue, red, green. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's make a little fooder. And pass. <clears throat> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, I don't think we need blue sources currently. I'll take the generous plunder. Also, that guy's going to deal some damage. Oh. Well, we have treachery. Hmm. Well, well, well. Two six sixes, huh? Okie dokie. And we're just going to have six here. I don't foresee us having an answer to this. The question is, if they only attack Oko with one, do we block it? Oh, good. They have a, a little Talarian Academy. Man, I thought our turn was good. I guess they have two cards. It's not the best. This is also pretty sweet at giving us some filtering. Just both at face, okay. I'll take 12. Do they just time walk here and then kill us? No, end of turn. All right. That's pretty good. We can play that. Add blue, blue. What? Um, one, two, three. Oh, good, you're going to counter it. Oh, no, you're just going to draw a card. That's totally fine. All righty, then. One, two, three, four. And so it has three counters on it. So if we make it a f an elk, it'll still be a 6-6. Six, six. I mean, we can steal this, but then they just sack it in response. But that shuts off a lot of their lands. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm going to keep looking at Oko. Turn artifact creature you control. Turn you control. Three or less. That is unfortunate.
I mean, it turns off their Talarian Academy, which is pretty decent. Let's cast with kicker of two, three, four. X is currently two, sure. Oh, maybe they don't do it. Maybe they've, maybe they've, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> you got it. Great. Um, ding, 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 ding. I mean, we could just make a food token, but like, we're at pretty low life. I think I'd just rather make this a guy. Yeah, keeping Firebolt up, not super relevant when you, uh, when it's a sorcery, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Hilarious. Well, their mana's quite constrained here, so that's good. All right, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good too. All right. <laughs> Just added four more mana, so that's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, go from three to seven. Broadside is nuts. Great, great. Everything's happening as it should. Yep, yeah. This is, everything is coming up Millhouse right now. Okay, that's fine. Really? No attack there. I have no way to defend against that. I mean, we can just kill a cat. That sounds terrible. Attack Oko. And by Oko, I mean Dak. Wow, well, look how quickly you said that. Like, <laughs> I corrected myself almost immediately. And <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, let's make a plunder here. Play this. Kill the kitty cat. Uh, let's make a food, I guess. And at least we get to half impulse. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, well, let's see what that can do next turn, I guess.
control. Oh, good. Do you also have time walk? <laughs> uh, here we go. Let's find out. Fourth year lingist. <laughs> Christ, give me strength. God would never let me be successful. He'll kill me first. Yep, seems good. Well, we're not dead, actually. Hmm. Okay. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. Well, let's do one of these jobbies. And one, two. Huh. Six, two, two. Can you block? Why can't you? Oh, your cat's not attacking. Sure. So it is a six, seventy nine, ten. That kills us. Okay. <sighs> Can't do that. This might have to go here, which is kind of obnoxious. Two, four, six, eight, and we can kill the chariot. Because right now we're taking eight anyway, so I might as well kill the chariot. Yep. All right. Fourth year lingus is a hell of a drug. Oh, this guy becomes a 6-6. Six, six. Sure. Wow. Yep. Okie dokie. What does Gruff Triple say? Oh, okay. So we put six. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I don't think we have an answer for Gruff's triplets. <laughs> I think we're bringing in Snap to bounce counters. We also have like multiple counter spells in our deck. I think that's just the end. Well, I mean, we have a draw. One, two, three, four, five. We have two mana up, though. And I'm pretty sure a snap is in our sideboard. Yep, there it is right there looking at me. Well, it doesn't seem like they have any counter spells whatsoever. So if we kill two of these, then we have three things to block. No, we just don't have enough. I'll look at the top two just to see, but yeah. I mean, this would have been really good if we had it in our hand, but like deal two to everything kills this. Yeah. Well, let's bring snap in. Take out Firebolt. 
it's just seems kind of kind of meh. What untapped land can we go get? We can go get like a Badlands. We can play Sheldock Badlands into third path. Okay. I don't hate that. We're probably gonna hit four lands off of Sheldock though. You ready? Get ready. Okay. Uh, I think Relic, actually Remand might be the best response like if i am able to just shell dock and remand something it seems pretty good plus if i'm shuffling i'd rather have the relic still in the deck somewhere oh geez oh geez rick <sighs> Not feeling great about this matchup, but what can you do? How would he have me dead if he copied the knight token? That doesn't make any sense. It's not attacking. It's not an attacking token. Mm. Okay, I like that. I'm tempted to Fury here, but if we hit any land, we can just Fiery Confluence and kill everything that they have. It also kills our stuff, though. Hmm. We do also have green now, which is kind of nice. God, Fury just hitting these two just doesn't feel great. But then they can't activate it. I don't like it, but... It feels correct. Like, I don't want to lose my board. When we fire Confluence. Plus, we can go... 2-2. Two, two, or uh, destroy, destroy, 2 to their face, rather. Oh, okay, they didn't crew, which is nice. Oh, if they crewed, we could have actually gotten the Fury pack, which would have been great. Yeah, that would have been sweet. I saw a hornet in my kitchen, and two minutes later, I couldn't find it. Should I call 911? Yes. Bumblebees? Okay. Hornets? No bueno. I'm tempted to just get Fury back anyway. Just attacking with it for six next turn good? Probably, right? Yeah, that's gotta be correct, right? Even if we can't even if we can't hit anything with it, like Plus it gives us recurring nightmare to recast and make another guy if we have nothing else to do. I mean, I guess we could still do that even if we did it next turn, but this turn we get to attack at least. Sure. Oh, Shadow Spear is interesting. I Oh, I do like attacking and equipping here. Okay. 
Fingers crossed. They could have Flash. Which would be really bad for us. They could just crack Clue and block. They could just take eight. Okay, they just took eight. All right. Well, Fiery Confluence kills them. There's Flash. Oh, no, just Clue. That's even better. Okay, great. Well, this is kind of what we were hoping for. Any land just kills them with Fiery Confluence. So, huzzah. Sure. Make this guy a, a, an elk. Sure. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Um, so, are they just dead? They have two mana up? I guess I need a blue, huh? Blue, green, red. If they don't have a, a, a card to play here. Okay. I like it. <laughs> Recurring Nightmare and Fury is a hell of a drug, man. In hindsight, I should have said, I have Recurring Nightmare. Let's just Fury, and then we can bring it back. But I think seeing all these interactions with so many new cards is, just blinds me, you know? Any fourth land would have been great there, too. We could have fallen Shinobi'd. We could have cast Fiery Confluence and killed them. I wonder if Flame Tongue Kavu is decent here. Oh, man. Um, what is the wording on Gruff? Is it like Winners Enters the Battlefield, right? It's like when it enters the battlefield, if it's not a token, you make the tokens. That's what I assume. If it isn't a token, make two tokens. Yeah, okay. So I could copy with Metamorph and make some tokens. I can copy a token and still make some tokens because it's not, this isn't a token, it's just a card. Yeah. And we have three steps ahead. We have Remand, we have Snap. I mean, Romance not like a true counter spell. Like, if we counter their fourth year Lingus with it, they're still going to be able to uh, cast their fourth year Lingus. Oh, I like this hand a lot. That's a turn two true name, which is very good. Oh, that's rude. How could you be so heartless? Don't be a land. I got enough of those. What did I I just asked you. I asked really nicely, too. It actually has to be lounge, though, unless we want to play Island Island Mox, because we just need that second blue on turn two. So we'll play this guy begrudgingly then we'll play these two or we could even play third path into mox to get the free guy 
Is a free guy worth waiting a turn? I don't think so. You got it. Oh my god, really? Two lands in a row? Come on, dude. That shadow spear. Ugh. I mean, I get that they're they're surveillance. They do something, but like, boy, oh boy, lots of mana. What? Are they just trying to kill my mocks here? Sure. Um, well, nothing to do. Generous plunder. Do I give a shit about a generous plunder this late? Maybe? Like, we play, play Iconoclast here. They have no white source, which is good. I just don't think this guy does anything. I mean, it can deal them two plus the attack itself, which is fine, but. Oh, what up, big money grip? Okay, well. Hmm. That's actually fine. Joke's on you, I didn't even have any spells. Oh, that's a spell. Do we just like double true name? <laughs> I mean, that seems pretty good, right? Damn it. If you start with the blue, you have to restart because again, you can't pay Phyrexian, so... Um, I think I actually will take a remand here. That seems just fine. 15, huh? Ketria Triome is not a white source. That's a white source. God damn it. They're going to crack it for green. I mean, we're just trying to dodge the fourth year Lingus, man. Don't don't get that lingus. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I have no artifacts to steal. Okay. And now we get to keep up remand, so we get to Yeah. Oh, all right, you're just drawing a million cards. That's pretty good. Can't say I love it. There's a white. Um, honestly, I think I'm just going to play Island here because if they have like mana leak or something, all right, let's see what's better than true name Two true names. Yeah. We get two draws here. They could still kill us with fourth year lingus. It's not impossible, but I guess we have to die. They have to deal with both of these. They're very hard to deal with. And we should get a free pass this turn. Because I have to assume they're going to use their mana for something good. Oko. That's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't really do anything.
I have two cards. This we're going to counter just because we can. Just because we can. Prior Confluence. Snap. Does that do anything? Not really. Five, six, seven, eight. I mean, we're just, I think we're just dead to fourth year lingus here. I feel like this game was super close, but like there's nothing we can do if they just literally just loot until they get fourth year lingus. <sighs> What's a commander draft? Oh, Commander Masters. Um, the problem is they make another food and they just gain six. And then we're still another turn away. Like, we could snap this guy back to hand and then copy Flame Tongue. Is that worth it? I don't know if that's any good. No, I think we'll just pass here. Man, I would kill for a three steps ahead right now. I think we're dead. So your hand was Mox Diamond Land, fourth year Lingus. Yeah, of course it was. <laughs> yep. Never don't have it. Uh, every card in your hand. Fantastic. Yep, that's what we were trying to avoid. Cool. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Should have just taken my own, I guess. Uh Great. At what point do I feel like Fourth Year Lingus is just too obnoxious to be in the cube? I don't know how many games I've lost after casting it. I'd be very curious what the win rate is with that card. Like, Fireballs are X equals one mana. Fourth Year Lingus is X equals two mana. Plus you get creatures, plus they have trample, plus you're the monarch. It's it's just kind of really busted. Also, I mean, we, we drew basically nothing. Like, we basically drew all lands. So, I don't know. Do I feel bad? Should I? I don't know. Play this guy. I mean, they're just looking at a lot of cards. So, I mean, it's 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 pretty obvious they're always going to hit fourth year Lingus. I 
I mean, hopefully they just play something we can stomp and then we get to Bone Crusher. Something good. I mean, that's good. I'm just going to play Bone Crusher here. I don't feel like they're a deck that we're really going to benefit from keeping a stomp around for multiple turns. I mean, alternatively, we could have stomped them, let the Talisman resolve, and then just cast Bone Crusher. They'd be down two. We'd keep a remand. They'd have an extra mana here, though. That's pretty good. We can play Relic into Firebolt. Oh yeah, that's good. That's what Father likes. <sighs> I'm about to bust. <laughs> that fucking Hank Hill meme is so funny, dude. Oh lord. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go this guy into this guy, into red, blue, kill this guy. Look at that firebolt coming in clutch. And next time we can play Goldie. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We can play Goldie into third path Iconoclast, maybe. Is this any combination? No, it just adds two mana of one color. Okay. No, oh, got it. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Hmm, fascinating. I'm fascinated. Six mana. Oh my god, we should have played this for... F no, we can't float the mana. That's the Oh, we can go one, two, three, four, five. Keep one up. Sack this. Steal this. That would have been the play. That would have been the play. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, say blue, blue. One... X is currently zero. X is currently one. Yeah, that was definitely the play. They would be at eight right now. I think I just, I was like, well, if we use this, we can't float the one extra mana that it makes. So my brain actually died. That's actually fine. I like this guy a lot. He's in my cube now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rip brain. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. We had a good run, brain. We had a good run. Man, this guy would have been huge. Come at me, bro. Do it. Okay, now if we use this first, we can save whatever mana we get. Just remember. Oh. Oh. Fascinating. Okay, so we can we can actually do one of these jobbies. You ready? Red, red. One, two, three. Shadow spear with the last. Make a guy. Make a shadow spear. Now we have three four fours. 
So you got to block with something. Four, 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 four. I'm just going to attack with everything because I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is actually a five, five now. Great. Great. Can I uh, equip it instant speed? Do you guys know? I've never played this game. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. All right. That was a satisfying, satisfying victory. Uh, I like Flame Tongue a lot because they have Urza. So let's bring that gentleman in. We can take out Recurring Nightmare here. And I think without a... Oh, we still have Fallen Shinobi. I was like, without a black card, I'll probably replace the Raucous Theater. Is that what it is? Is it a theater? With um, an island, but not the case. Let's keep... This is our only red source. I think I want to start with this. Then go this. But then double blue is good for three steps. We do have more red sources than blue sources, I believe, by one. So our odds of hitting a red are higher here. Oh, I guess we should not be in their turn. We also get to draw, so... You know, lots of things are going to happen before we actually have to play our land. Okay, we can actually go this, this, and this now. Yeah, let's do that. Sheldock is not super relevant in the early game. Uh Oh, yeah, put that on top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a guy. It's the man of the hour. This guy again? Come on, don't get Cauldre complete. Okay, still fine. They're just gonna pass because they got Batter Skull. Oh, they're gonna portent. Important is literally just ponder, except you draw the card of the next turn instead of this turn. It's very funny. So overly aggressive Q-tipping, that's funny because I, I, I remember when I was a child, there was a Tales from the Crypt episode where someone went fucking absolutely crazy with Q-tips. And he just kept digging in his ear until he like dug his brain out. I guess it was called, the episode looks like it was called For Crying Out Loud. It was season two of Tales from the Crypt. And it, like, I, I still remember it to this day. Marty complains about a noise he's hearing. It's like a muffled voice or a scream. While the doc can't find anything wrong, he does lecture Marty on the damage he's done to his ears from being in the music business. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. This is a whole synopsis of the episode. Yeah, I, maybe I need to watch this episode. I don't even remember how Tales of the Crypt presents itself, to be quite honest. <sighs> Gotta get that cute too. Yeah, don't do that. Um, I kind of like gut here. Next turn, we can Shadow Spear, keep up three steps, or remand. We're gonna take a hit from the Batter Skull, but there's nothing we can really do about that. Like next turn we can make a guy with Shadow Spear, sacrifice it to Gut to make a 4-1. 
Yep. Big old B skull. B skullington. Death by tipping. No, that ain't that ain't the way to go, bro. That ain't me. Don't kill my gut. Mm, okay. Mm, okay. Well, there's a lot of things happening right now, which I don't love. I don't love the things. Do we just keep Ramanda, probably? I think we want to play Xander's Lounge. I think we want that second red here. And again, like both decks are about seven cards away from. Oh, they're going to try to counter this? I mean, I think if they try to counter the Shadow Sphere, that's totally fine. Eh, maybe I want the Life Link, though. Yeah, I think I do. I think in the long run, Shadow Spear is going to keep us alive. We're at 16. Oh, yeah. That's a gentleman. That's a gentleman caller. So, yeah, if we play a land here, next turn we can go True Name into Equip. Oh, no. We have to attack with the... Dang it. <sighs> Why did I think we could actually attack this turn? I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to sacrifice any of these creatures. So we'll just pass here. Play a lounge. Call it a day. I think we might be a little too far behind here. Great. <laughs> well, that's not gonna that's not gonna utterly end the game on the spot. Definitely sack that construct for a for a skelly man. Oh, he sacrificed the stone forge itself. Okay. I mean, two one ones for a four one. Hmm. They also do not have counterspell mana here. Or two lifelink. Trample. Protection from boss, Dirac 1. Oh no. They tapped so fast. <laughs> here we go. There we go. Okay, so what is this? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, that's game. Great. I'm not even going to let you do it. Um, and snap seems kind of good again, especially against batter skull or like fractured identity. Let's bring in a snap. Everything else seems good. Maybe scrap work mud is kind of meh. Sure. Let's take out the mud.
All right. Um, I think this is a keeper. Turn one, we get snap and remand. And if we hit a red, we get to play this guy. Red would be great here. Actually, any second and third land would be great here. Okay. This could be very good. Beautiful. <laughs> Can't ask for more than that. Wow. And a Badlands? Oh, fuck. That's fucking brutal. Brutal full. Yeah, we're just going to rabble here. They have one mana. Get in there. You dirty bastard. Wow, Lotus turn one into Urza. Get to remand it. Beautiful. Let's get that Stoneforge Mystic every game. No? No Stoneforge? Dang. Well, I guess we'll just keep Snap up, you know? Oh, obviously Fury, because it's the only card we can cast this is a lot of damage man oof big fat oofs they did nothing wow is rabble master just gonna go the distance in this game oh that's sad the answer was no well I can't snap that guy One, two, three, four. Relic. This guy. I mean, we still have three goblins that are attacking every turn. Um, that feels good enough to keep, especially since we have answers for everything else. Get them. Man, timely true name nemesis. They always got the right answer, you know? Snap is kind of like a counter spell, depending on what they do, you know? I guess they're just going to play Urza here. Sure. I think we just bounce the token. Actually, let's... We steal Urza, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we steal Urza and then bounce the token. I did forget about that guy, <laughs> comically. Two, th three, four, five, treachery on Urza. One, two, three, four. Three to draw two and discard one. One, two, three, draw two, discard one. It leaves us with one. So it's three, two, one. That's interesting. Could just spin the wheel too. I mean, if they just want to trade with a Construct token, that's fine. Um, let's go double blue and green, and then we'll play Oko and keep up Snap. Hmm. 
I am kind of worried about Fractured Identity. They can hit Oko or Urza. But if they hit Urza, we can just bounce the token with Snap. If they hit Oko, it's kind of awkward. But I feel like we're still in reasonable, reasonable shape here. Also, this is an extra blue for whatever we want, which is kind of nice. That is fine. Cube Island. <laughs> oh, good times. How come there's no islands in the cube? Oh, assimilation agus. Um, so let's see what they target, and we'll actually. Uh, I guess we're not gonna snap if they take Urza. You're gonna take that guy, huh? Just the battlefield except for one creature until it leaves the battlefield. I'm going to be honest, I kind of just feel like snapping on it. Like, I feel like we have a reasonable amount of pressure here. Hmm. Hmm. That's what father likes. So, one, two, three. Then we can go red, blue, this guy, ramble. Do we make something in Elk? No, we just make the food, right? Because it triggers our guy. Stop asking me if I want to respond to my own food token. Might as well attack with Urza. They can't kill it, so. Now we get to draw three steps ahead one time. Oh, our own Trinum Nemesis or Goldspan? Man, it's got to be Goldspan. <laughs> that's, that's not close. Hasty Flyer, that gives me an artifact. Let's us draw with a Culpacol. That's a funny name. I'm sorry. Every time I have to say a Culpacol, I feel weird. Oh, it also puts... It also gets us too deeper into our deck, which is super nice for Shell Dock Isle. Oh, we only have three mana. Sure, let's pass. They do have Counterspell. So let's go red, red. Four mana. This is three steps ahead. Make a cryptic command. Returning Urza. I think that's fine. We still have Flame Tongue. Oh, yeah. I think one, two, three. Yeah, they're just dead, actually. Because they didn't tap our board. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's game. No, they go to one. They block here, they take three, four, five, six. Now they're dead to a lot of things. We don't have a way to put an artifact into play right now. Just to, just food tokens. Because, I mean, they're going to spend their whole turn casting Urza. And then they have three creatures to our five potential creatures. Sure. Does that get rid of the food token? Yep, that's fine. I mean, we have one, two, three, four potential creatures. If they cast Urza, they have three. Sure. I mean, I'm no expert, but that seems like... And we get to kill a guy, too, so... All right. I don't know what kind of free spells they could have here. Oh! Headology magic! What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. That was like four minutes ago. I literally didn't even... I didn't even see that. I was so in the zone, you know? Okay. We could also have used Urza to tap a food in response for blue so that we could try to play the Kavu. Yes, but like I didn't want, yeah, but Kavu, I was saving the Kavu. There was no, there was no urgency to get that guy down. I'll keep this. If we can just top deck a Mox, like we're, like, that's a turn two Oko, you know? Any red source and we get to Bone Crusher. Oko and a Kalpa Call are pretty good. Is it a Mox? It's a recurring nightmare. The fourth color card in our deck. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, good times. Okay. What would it take for you to do a commander draft? I um, I think enjoying commander is the first step to doing a commander draft. That's what it would. That's my first step towards towards doing one. <laughs> oh, good times. Okay, well, any land lets us play any of these. Then any other land lets us play this. You know, how do we lose? Beautiful. See, that was a good one. So they have one blue mana up, huh? Let's get this guy out. Let's see what this guy can do. Oh, I can do nothing. Got it. Got it. Right back on top. Sounds good. Always a pleasure, memory lapse. Ah, I see. You had to clear the way for your own Oko, it seems. Land? Oh, it was going to be an Oko. See, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. I wish we had a land here because then we can play Relic into Bone Crusher and kill this. And then we'd be very far ahead. But now instead of three steps ahead, we're actually two steps back. So, you know, I'm still going to stomp this because I think that's more important than getting Oko back down. How much would it be for an I like Commander now, Stip? That's going to be rough. It's going to be costly. MTG is now, oh, Oko with the hat. Yes. This guy doesn't have a hat, though. This just has a natural merfolk flower head, you know? Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Eventually. Maybe one day. All right. Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a yikes for me, dog. This guy have a hat? This guy has a headdress, we'll call it. Oh wow, Gruff's triplets, Orcish lumberjack, Kavu, Arbor Elf, Gruff. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a stack right there, my man. Escape to the Wilds is such a good card. Mm, Okie dokie, you're really you're really just rubbing it in here, aren't you? 
Just rubbing it in. Yeah, but the cards in Cube are going to be better than the cards in Commander Masters, you know? Commander Masters is a great set, don't get me wrong. But, like, this is designed to be a powerful, limited experience. <sighs> I mean, the only thing we can play is Oka, right? Like, this is... We could play the draw to discard. That's unexciting. We play this, this, this. No, no. Yes, no, no. Yes. I don't know. I'm just saying yes and no's now. There's no real rhyme or reason to anything. Okay. Well, we'll play commercial district. I'm pretty sure we're just dead. You can go to the graveyard. Is Oko better? He goes to f six. We can block here. They also have a raging ravine. They're going to play gruff triplets. <laughs> nothing means anything it's very true <laughs> oh jeez <laughs> oh, I just read your message that's yes I did see that and honestly I wasn't even sure if it was real um, so you asking about it confirms how real it is. And that's, <sighs> you know, my biggest question, let me, let me, let me have a little sidebar here. My biggest question about RFK Jr. Okay. Is how, I know this is completely unrelated to what's going on here. My biggest question is how he's married to Cheryl Hines. Who was who played Cheryl? Cheryl Green. Is her last name Green? No, Jeff Green. Uh, Cheryl. I don't know if she has a last name on the show. She's got to have a last name, right? Is, she, is Cheryl Green her real name? Hold on. Okay, Cheryl Hines is her real name. That's I got it right. Anyway, like, I don't understand how someone who's so progressive and like forward thinking is married to RFK Jr. That doesn't make any sense to me. I'm just going to play Bone Crusher here. That turn took 900 minutes. Heinz is impressive. That doesn't seem correct at all. I mean, like the first article I see is like Curb Your Enthusiasm star Cheryl Hines on conflicts with husband Robert F. Kennedy. Agree to disagree. Like. Like she's rarely spoken out publicly against his politics, but she distanced herself from controversial remarks he made last year. Like. Uh, so just these two, I mean, block here and then take five, I guess. We'll be dead soon. It's okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, let's go to the next game. I think, um, I think we might be losing this. Yeah, my husband's opinions are not a reflection of my own, she wrote. While we love each other, we differ on many current issues. Yeah, like, let's not just make up things. <laughs> That's not fun. Flint on Kavu should definitely be in here. Um... I think Recurring Nightmare might be a little slow. I don't hate Snap. Man, Gruff's Triplets just keeps on stomping me. It's very unfortunate. I mean, agree to disagree is super easy when you're not affected, but it's also like being married to someone is also kind of difficult too, I think. I think well, let's not dismiss the fact that like, what's your alternative? Like ending your marriage? Like, I don't know. Like, like I definitely agree with you. It's easy to, to agree to disagree, but like, what's the alternative? Like his politics are not her politics, you know, like that's not their, they don't have to be one and the same.
I mean, saying agree to disagree is also very hard. Um, it's also super easy when you are affected, right? Like, by a tainted soups. <laughs> See, that's good. Now you're thinking. I think this is probably, we're just going to do this. Oh my God, where are the blue manas in the deck? I'm going to keep this because of Commercial District and Firebolt and Ravel Master. And we have, we can, we got a little peek. I mean, that's not, that's not, that's not a, <laughs> that's not not being progressive. Seeing, she's literally just saying she understands people who are afraid and understands people who aren't afraid. Like, she's not endorsing not, like, that, that's not, <laughs> that's not how reading works, right? I see both sides. There's one side that's scared if they get the vaccines, there's a side that feels scared if they do get it because they're not sure if it's safe. She understands that. Like, that's not saying she condones it or endorses it. Like, that's a weird, this is weird. Like it's, I, I mean, this is just finding points to, to, to prove your argument. Like that's not really, that doesn't make someone not progressive. Like I understand people are scared to not get a, to get the vaccine too. I don't agree with it. I don't think they're correct, but I understand that they exist and I see they're, they're like, I, I accept the fact that they're afraid. I don't know. But anyway, let's not make this a political uh, stream. That was not the point of this. I just thought it was funny that someone, she also plays an incredibly progressive character on Curb Your Enthusiasm as well. So it's just funny to see that. Uh, let's play this solid gentleman. Get him. Well, single red is frustrating. We can go true name Fury. Actually, Fury killing this seems really good. And now we have one card, but that's okay. Well, we got rid of a Minskin Boo and a Boo for a Fury and a Fiery Confluence and four damage. It failed to complete its job. Oh, wow. We just win the game. That's pretty good. I'm satisfied. That was a, that was a victory, I guess. All right. Uh, wow, this hand seems great. So turn to this guy into Mox into Spear, making two one ones. Yeah, let's do that. We just have to survive until turn turn two, you know. Way to doom yourself to a turn one combo. I did it to myself, you know? It's like Tom York said. I do it to myself. And that's why it really hurts. Oh, shooty booties. Do I play the mocks and keep remand up? Or do I just make the guy? What can they do on turn two? Like nothing that I care about? God, if they go mocks three mana Oko, I'll cry. 
This will be a cry stream. They did not do that at all. This guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah. Just put it into play. And then this guy. Yeah. All right. Satisfying. <laughs> Next turn, we can go Xander's Lounge, keep up remand. That's fine. Or. Well, one, two, three, four. We can actually put Oko to one. I don't think that's, I think it's just better to play the Xander's Lounge to keep up true name next turn. Putting him to one just doesn't do much. Plus we also still get Flame Tongue. Our hand is good. I enjoy it. Here comes the Minskin Boo. Oh, Omnath. No, this guy. I like it. Make that 3-3. Three, three. Oh, you're no longer an artifact, are you? That's unfortunate. Um, So I think we just Kavu here. We can Kavu and then copy the Kavu to um, to kill the Omnath next turn. That seems really good. Um, Oko, Oko, your face, your face. I mean, you're just fingers crossed they don't have like a Wrath. Yep, that guy's fine. Meanwhile, Michael's alarm is going off in his office, but in his in his bedroom, but he's not there, so he can't shut it off. Here he comes. He's running. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> he gave me he gave me the fucking the eyeballs as he was walking by. I guess we can just metamorph this guy now. All right. Treachery. Rabble Master. One, two, three, four, five. God, we're one man of shy of doing all the things, you know? Um, one, two, three. Copy the Omnathios. Yeah, there we go. Play this guy. Gain four. It's just true name nemesis here. I don't think it's Rabble Master. Eh. Rabble Master make a guy attack with all four guys. They take three. No, let's just play true name and copy and uh, target them. Oh, what up, Big Lou? You piece of shit. Dude, cracks me up every time, man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we have a good time. All right. I feel like we've slowed down a bit. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's see what they hit. Territorial Kavu? Yeah, that's fine. It's not great, but it's unexciting. And I think that's important, you know? I sure wish they had an artifact, though. Wouldn't that be nice? Just want to make sure none of these are sneaky artifacts, you know? It is a little unfortunate that this just basically prevents the the Omnath life. One, two, 
one, two, three, four, five. So we can keep three up. If we just switch it over to like, switch it over to the oaks. It seems okay. And I feel like we were doing good and then they just started playing haymakers. That's magic, you know? Put a subtlety in the bin. They didn't like that. Don't be a land. Don't do it. I'm I'm asking you nicely. I wasn't maybe. Maybe I'll be nicer. Please don't be a land. Please. Please don't. Come on. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. You did it. Unbelievable. I mean, we got a lot of life here. <laughs> Just keeps growing, you know? Equip to you. They lose Hexproof and Indestructible. I don't want to play either of these guys until we get, like, some value out of them, you know? I don't think we're going to win the game with a thieving skydiver poking away. Oh, man, they're tapping so fast. Yeah, that's good. And a Bloodstained Mire? Really? You didn't use the mana from the Bloodstained Mire? I guess you want to save it for a future turn? Sure, that's fine. Discard a card and draw a card. Yeah, that's... I mean, you got an onboard looter. Good grief. This guy doesn't have Trample, right? No. I mean, I could block, and then I'm sure they crack this for a Swamp, right? What are the odds they have a swamp they can search for? Have we seen one? I don't know. Probably. Oh, boy. Is there a way to look back at our own game? I don't know. Thundering Falls, Bloodstained Mire, Commercial District. What if I just make this real big? Is it easier to read? Yeah, a little bit. Fiery Islet, Taiga, Jetmere's Garden. Okay, Wooded Foothills. I don't know if we've seen a black, but they might just have a searchable black. Zeotor's Proving Ground. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Good block with littles. <laughs> oh man. Okay, they have no cards in hand. That's good. Something good. Okay, I mean the four life I guess I'll take, but good gravy, man. Come on. 
Relic? I think I will just keep Relic because I have a ton of mana and being able to start filtering cards is nice. Is it worth getting in there with this guy or should we just keep it back to block? Probably keep it back to block. I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, there's nothing to really... Nothing to really do here. I think we just leave this on the true name. Then again, it kind of feels like... No, we're just going to pass here. God, I hate it when they start tapping their mana this quickly. Oh, God. Oh, good, a time warp. <laughs> and they have two blue, one blue. Oh, the Lotus, too. So, okay. Wow. That's, that'll do. Looks like we're destined for a one, two. Interesting. Okay. Why don't they just get the Proving Ground? And Oh, the Proving Ground's in the graveyard. Huh. Interesting. Wonder if they realized that. Maybe we, maybe they got away with something there. Okay, so we can actually steal this Lotus. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two. We're one mana shy of doing it all, though. That's unfortunate. One, two, three, four. Play Relic, make a guy. Does stealing the Lotus do anything? Not really, but nothing else can get stolen. And we kind of want to play this anyway. Yes, they F6. <laughs> oh man, I was so hoping, like, like this resolved so quickly. I was like, oh my God, did they F6? So now we just get to keep the Lotus. That's pretty cool. So now we can use this. I don't think, it, I don't think there's much we can get here though. We're also at 42, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I mean, if they double attacked, we'd still be kind of fine. I think we just pass here. It feels likely we will be using that at the end of the turn because three mana is just a lot. I think I'd rather not just use it on our turn. Plus, this is untapped on our turn, which is both two extra mana and an extra activation. They're in top deck mode, but they have a time warp, so... Oh, they're just, I think they're just looting here. Because this is just four free life? That's interesting. Now they have to crack Bloodstain Mire to get their black source. Proving Ground is in the graveyard. Do they have a second black source? They just had nothing to find and they just we just get to eat this guy? What? That's so good. Now they're just going to play Time Warp. Sure. Oh my god, what is even happening? So this is their only black source, I guess, and they're just playing it for like the, the domain. Oh no. Oh God. Oh, stop it. <sighs> All right, fantastic. Yeah, great. How lucky. I mean, does that kill us? Probably, right? 
just turn them sideways, man. Yeah, that's great. Hilariously great. Block, block, block. 4-2, I mean, 8-8. Eight, eight. <laughs> block. Just block everything and then hope the lifelink and... Yep, we're dead. That's hilarious, man. What a top deck. Everything else breaks our way, like them failing to find and just throwing this guy away, us hitting Lotus and them F6-ing so like we could just get to steal it and then they just magically hit plus four, plus four overrun. Sure. I don't know what, just hit okay. Like you can't do anything else. You have no cards in hand. Oh, are they choosing, like, how to assign the damage? Sure. Great. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.